Hello, welcome to ALA Solutions channel. In this video, we're quickly going to run through an example of finding the moment of 3D forces. That's finding the moment of a force acting in space about a particular point. Just to recap, our moment is the cross product of the position vector of the force and the force itself when taken to its um, component form. And that you can easily get by evaluating the determinant of the matrix that contains the position vector and the force. So we're quickly going to walk through this example by finding the moment of the force, say about point O. If we are to find the moment of the 5 kN force about point O, how do we go about it? Obviously, we can see that the force is acting on the plane of the Y and the z axis so this force has two components a component in the y axis and a component in the z axis but our position vector will be from point o to this point let's call this point b so we are uh, to first determine what you call the position vector of the of the force rbo which should be the distance that the force that one will travel from the first point where you have to look for the moment about, about which you have to look for the moment to the point of application of the force. And to do that, one will discover that one may need to travel from this point of origin along the y axis, then the person will travel along the s axis and finally move along the z axis to get what you call uh, the, to get to the position of the force. So, to evaluate these dimensions, along the y axis, one will discover that the force has moved a distance that is equivalent to 200 meters. So, we have 200 meters in the y axis, so this is J. And it's going to be positive because if you're moving from 0 upwards, it's in the same direction with the y axis. So, this is plus. Then, along the x axis, to travel this distance along the x axis, of course, is going to be positive as well because it is in the same direction as the positive x axis. But what's that value? We are given the distance, the, we are given the dimension of this shaft, and we are given an angle it's making with this axis. So to get the value of this dimension, this distance it has traveled along the x axis, is going to be this distance 300 multiplied by cosine of the angle it's making with the axis. So for the i axis, and it's going to be positive as we've described, we're likely going to get 300 multiplied by cos 30. And to get the z dimension, alpha it has moved in this dimension. Because we have 300, and this is the angle that is given. To get this dimension, this angle, this dimension is the same thing as 300 sine 30. But one question we want to ask, is it going to be positive or negative? Because if we are moving from this point to point B, we are going to travel in this direction. And this direction is away from the positive x axis. The positive x axis is pointing away from the direction that would have moved from point let's say a to point b so for that we have negative and we said the distance is 300 sine 30 so we had our unit vector in the z axis which is k for this this is i so if we arrange this perfectly taking i to the front of it all we are likely going to get r b o is equal to 2.5 sorry sorry 259.8i plus for the j you have 200j plus 200j and the k dimension minus 300 sine 30 which should give us minus 150k the next thing we want to put ourselves with is the force. We said the force is 5 kN at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal Z axis. And that is the same thing as 70 degrees to 
the vertical y axis. So our force taking to components will be 5 times cos 20 degrees and that will take it to the z axis. Cos 20 degrees will resolve the force to the z axis. So this is 5 sine 20 degrees in kilonewtons. And it's going to be positive because we can see that the force is pointing in the same direction as the z axis. So this is going to be positive, but we're going to add k. Then if we resolve the force to the y axis, we know that this angle is 70 degrees. So the y component of force is going to be 5 times cos 70 degrees. Some other person can use 5 sine 70 degrees. You are likely to get the same answer. And for this case, it's, it's going to be negative. Because if we resolve this force in the downward, in, in the vertical axis direction, we will discover that the force is pointing downwards as against the y axis that is pointing upwards. So here we get minus 5 times cos 70 degrees J. And if this is evaluated properly, one would likely get our force to be equal to, and is if it's, if it's evaluated and rearranged force will be equal to zero i because there's no i component as you can see then we'll bring in the j, the j component which is minus 5 times cos 70 and if you evaluate that you're going to get minus 1.71 j and for the k component which is 5 cos 20 k if that is evaluated you'll get plus 4.6 8k which is also 4.7k and for look for to estimate our moment m let's call it mo is the cross product of the position vector and the force itself when taking to components and that is evaluated by putting that in matrix form wherein you have i you have j and you have k and if you put that in matrix form, you are likely going to get, of course, you need to put in the arrow component first. You will get um, 259.8i. Then for the J component, we had 200J. And for the K component, we had minus 150K. And for the forces, for the X component of force, we had 0i. For the Y component, we had minus 1.71J. And for the Z component, we had plus 1.7k and if this is evaluated we are likely going to get i into 200 times 4.7 minus 1.71 minus 150 minus j into 259.8 times 4.7 minus 0 times minus 150 and the final component k plus k into 259.8 times minus 1.71 minus 0 times 200 and our moment would likely be, so if that is evaluated correctly, one is likely to get our moment to be equal to I into bracket 940 minus 256.5 minus J into bracket. 1221.06 minus 0 plus k into brackets minus 442.25 minus 0 and that will give us m naught to be equal to 683.5 i 
minus 1221.06j minus 442.25k. And if you want to find the resultant of this moment, m naught will be equal to square root of mi square plus mj square plus mk square, which is equal to the square root of 683.5 square plus 1221.06 square plus 442.25 square. And that will be equal to 1467.56 kilonewtons meter. And that is our final answer. And I think this is all for finding moment of a 3D force about a particular point. I want to believe that the video was clear enough. If you have any questions, kindly forward them to the channel for further explanation. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.